Hi guys, so today I'm doing something very different. I'm doing an art haul for beginners. Now somebody asked me to do this and I jumped at the chance because I absolutely love art and love to talk about it. So doing a video on it is, I'm all for it. So what I'm gonna be doing is going through the stuff to get, to buy, if you wanna start getting into art. Now I am in no way a professional or saying I'm a professional and listen to my, advi uh, listen to my advice, I know what I'm talking about because I'm not saying that at all. I've just recently got back into art. I was into it about 10 years ago and I just kind of thought, I didn't really know if I could do anything with it. So then I became a PT and got into fitness and yeah, I kind of forgot about art. And then recently, as everyone has during lockdown, you've been a bit more creative. I've got back into it and I just love it so much. It's, I just want to paint all the time. It makes me happy. It gives me so much joy. It, I just love it. I love painting. So. As I have recently got back into it, when someone suggested for me to do it, I felt like it is something that I can talk about because I recently have had to buy all new art stuff from literally having nothing. I've had to then buy art stuff to get myself into it. So doing an art haul on what you should buy as a beginner is something I feel like I can talk about. Now I'm no way saying that these are the right things to get. I'm just saying this is what I have bought um, to get myself into painting. So this is my art box where I have all my supplies. I have spent a lot of money on painting supplies, I'm not going to lie to you guys. So it really depends how much you want to spend and are you just doing it for a hobby, you just want to do it on the weekends or whenever, or do you actually want to really get into it and start selling. So if you do want to obviously start selling, you are going to be spending more because you're going to want to be buying loads of stuff. I also love to try different styles. Like I'm still very much trying to find my style and my things. At the moment, I'm kind of just trying everything. So I have been spending more money. Like, you know, do you want to do acrylics or watercolors or alcohol ink, pouring ink? There's so much you can do. And I still am yet to try the alcohol ink and pouring ink. And that's all stuff I really want to try as well. Cause I just, I love it all, I want to try it all. So to start with, sorry, let me just get all of the, my big bits out of the way. A dust sheet, this is like two pounds. These are so useful. So you can get the really nice material fabric-y ones. Those are more expensive, but I am gonna be buying one of those now because this one, where like something will have sellotape on it, it's just ripped so much. So I am gonna buy another one of these like it's just ripped and then you can end up getting paint on the floor. But this is so cheap, so I am gonna get another one of these. And yeah, it's just great to cover the floor, cover the surface you're working on, and just protect your table, your floor, everything like that. Um, I don't even have my easel in this shop, but I'll, I'll grab that later. When I started, I did just start on a table, but now I do have an easel. But like I said, you don't need to get an easel. I'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, so yeah, the dust sheet I just got on eBay, and that was really cheap. Another thing, what surface do you want to be working on? So do you want to be painting on just like paper or canvases? Now canvases are so much better. The paint goes on so much better. You can blend colors easier, but they can be obviously a lot more expensive. So what I got to begin with was I got some canvases, but I also got pads. Now this is not the pad I've actually ran out of the pad and I used the cardboard to send someone something, so I don't have it with me. But what it is, is you get all these pads like this, but rather than a sketch pad, it will be um, a canvas paper. I'll put a picture up here actually so you can see. And so the, the, the paper is much more canvas style. Uh, so this, for instance, so this, for instance, this is a canvas style paper. You can't really see it, but it's it has the sort of lines like a canvas does. I don't think you'll really be able to tell. But it has the lines like a canvas does and the, the um, and the paint can go on it a lot better and paper's not gonna get thin and rip from your paints. Like you can put paints on it, but it's just not as good for like blending and things like that. But this is actually what I have used for my, a lot of my nudes because they do look really nice and I do think it looks so pretty in a frame. So these are really good. I don't have any with me. 
But I do really recommend to get the canvas sheets just to practice. Practice your drawing, practice your painting, practice different styles, different colours, because obviously it's so much cheaper to get that and just practice on that rather than just using loads and loads of canvases. Now canvases, I do get like a range of different shape, uh, shapes and sizes as you can see. So it's good to get just these little ones if you want to practice on these. These are the ones I do my hearts on. So, oh, stuff like this. And this, so these, I love to do these when I just want to practice something like this. I just wanted to practice using different colours and uh, different shades of purple, I mean, to make this gorilla. And I actually think it's really cute how it came out. I didn't do the eyes, but it's just like a little sketch. I just really liked it. But yeah, so the little ones are obviously cheaper and it's great to just sort of practice the different colours and different, different pictures on before you move on to a big canvas. Um... And then obviously you have your bigger canvases for when you want to make something really big. Abstracts always look good on big canvases. I did this one the other day. Like I said, I'm just trying out loads of different styles and that's what canvases are really good for because you can just blend everything really well. And you know, if you didn't like this, if you finished it and didn't like it, you could just go over it again and make a whole new picture. That is what's great about acrylic paints. So canvases I get from a shop in Brighton, local to me, and they're so cheap. Um, they do like really good deals on canvases. While I'm still practicing, I'm not gonna spend money on the really expensive canvases because there's no point in me doing it at the moment. So I will just get the cheaper ones while I'm still just trying my, trying different stuff out and finding my style. However, obviously at the moment the shops are closed. So you can get canvases online. I've originally got canvases on eBay. Um, and the two online art shops that are my favourite that I use is Jackson Art and Cass Art. They both have really good value and they do so much stuff. They do so many different ranges of paints and paintbrushes and canvases and easels and everything. Like you can get everything on these. I always just kind of go from one to the other. In regards to paintbrushes, so I got a set like this when I first started on eBay, which was really cheap. I'll put it up here with the price. I can't remember how much it was, but it's not too expensive. You don't have to spend loads of money to begin with, obviously, because you know you just want to start trying it out and see how you are, see if you want to get into it a bit more. So to begin with, you can just get like a cheaper set of brushes. Obviously, you don't want them too cheap because you don't want like the bristles coming out in your paints, but this is a really good set that I got. I'll, I'll link it, like I said, and it's got all different shapes and sizes. And they're really good. The, the bristles are really good. It's really good quality. So I'm really happy with this. And I've just sort of been built. Sorry, I just ran out of space on the memory card, which I didn't realize I thought I had loads of space. Sorry about that. So yes, yeah, so I've bought this set and then I've just expanded on it. I've gone and got really thin brushes or bigger brushes and a paint wedge I've got coming. So that's just stuff you can expand on. But to begin with, just get a set of a different variety of paint brushes. Um, you're obviously gonna need pencils. To draw my pencils are all falling out of here um, unless you're doing like abstract where you don't need to draw first otherwise you're going to want pencils to draw but I'm sure everyone has pencils you don't really need to get anything fancy because you're going to be painting over it it's just to draw on the outline of what you're going to paint um, next surfaces to paint on. You don't have to buy one of these. I've actually got a much bigger one, which is in the bathroom. Um, because when you're when you're painting big, you need a much bigger palette than that. But you can also use, like this was a chicken wing box and stuff like this is great. So you, you can just get surfaces like that. You don't need to buy anything like this. Although these are really cheap, so there's no harm in getting stuff like this. Um, I'll get my bigger one actually. So these are the main ones I use. This is my bigger one, which again costs about two pounds and you have a much bigger surface to blend your colors. But stuff like this is really good because I'll just chuck a white in there and then with something else and you can make, you have a big surface to paint the color. These are my main paint brushes that I always use. That's why they're in the bathroom because they're the ones I last use. So I buy like a bigger brush like this. This palette knife actually came in the paintbrush set. So really good because you have the option to be trying stuff out with a palette knife. And yeah, just my other brushes. And um, it also came with the sponge in that 
paintbrush set as well so it's really good it has a lot of stuff in there so moving on to paints now you can just get the basic colors and mix all the colors yourself so the primary colors are like red blue and yellow i think but you're also going to want a white and a black and yeah but a lot of people recommend to get a burnt umber as well let me just check my phone to see what they say because obviously i'm not professional with this um so yeah, so it's recommended you get a burnt umber, an ultramarine blue, a cadmium yellow light. However, a lot of people do recommend yellow ochre instead, so that just depends. Um, a alizarin crimson, however I like magenta, and white. And then other useful colours are yellow ochre, raw umber, ivory black, cadmium red, phthalo blue. Now for me, my favourite colours... I didn't want to just get the basic colours and mix them myself because I kind of just wanted to buy a variety of colours so I just sort of had them and that way I didn't have to worry if I was coming back to something trying to make the exact same shade, I just sort of had it. So I did buy big white because white I use so much and I think white, most people you do use white a lot, especially if you want to make pastel colours because you'll use like the tiniest bit of pink and then so much white. So I always buy the big ones. These I use System Free. System Free is really good because it's really good value and it's really good paint, I think anyway. Obviously I, I don't have experience of using the top quality paint, but these are amazing. I think the pigments are amazing. I have this fluorescent pink, which I absolutely love. The pigments are amazing. It goes on the canvas really well and it's really good value for money. So I do love System Free. I'm just going to move because my feet are killing me. So I've got... I buy loads of different colours, I've got Process Cyan there, so that's my big blue which I mix with a lot of different things, and I have my magenta, so I'm obsessed with pink, I put pink in everything, so I like to have fluorescent pink and magenta because I can make different things from it, and then again, like I have so much of this left because I'll use a little bit and just mix with white, and the same with this because I like to make the pastel pinks, and these give you completely different kinds of colours of pink, which is really nice, and then what I did is I bought a beginner's like the little ones because these are obviously a lot cheaper because they come in small tubes if you wanted to get loads of different colors of these it's going to get expensive and you don't need massive amounts of stuff like this i just got the pinks and the blue because i use them a lot and then i got these which is um amsterdam i read up on what um i read up on what paints were good but also not too expensive and Amsterdam was one of them. There's people were saying it's really good quality, good pigments and I love them. So I got this set, which I will also put and link and you just have loads of different shades. So I've got all my yellows here and oranges. I've got all my different blues, my pinks and reds. I have my greens and like creams and whites. And then I also have, which I've lost the lid for, like browns, other yellows, greys. So this was a really good set and I've still got loads of paints in these and yeah, they, these have done me really well. I've used these so much and I absolutely love the shades. So you have the different greens here, which I just think is amazing to just have them and not have to try and mix everything. I'm just not, I don't really know that much about mixing colours because I haven't really done it and yeah, so I kind of just like to have them. And then I have the blues. The blues are so good. So my favourite of these blues, I love this one, which is um, a fallow blue. I love this one. This is the one, so obviously I use it a lot in this Batman, but this, the outlines here in the blue, that's phalo blue. So all of this is phalo blue, and I just think that is such a beautiful colour. It's like my favorite and rather than doing black i just love to do the phalo blue so this dark bit all the dark bits that's what the phalo blue is so it's just really nice because it's dark but you have that tint rather than it just being black and i just think it's beautiful it just adds such a nice color um i also love the deep blue but my favorites are the um turquoise i love turquoise colors and the brilliant blue is really good as well but the turquoise i also got an aqua green in liquitex 
Liquitex is a really, really good paint company. They are more expensive, but the paints are amazing and the, they are really good and the colours they give are just beautiful. So this aqua green, I love this. This is like the green you can see here is my aqua grey, but then I've just added a lot of white to make it more pastel -y. So yeah, so those are the Amsterdam ones, which are great as I was saying. And then I also, like I said, I've then just bought different paints. Like this was just on its own. I bought this in aqua green. I also bought like an emerald. So if I just see a color, which I think is really pretty, I'll kind of just buy it and then just add it on. I also got this little Liquitex soft body acrylic set, which has your primary colors in. It has the yellow medium, the crimson, the ultramarine blue, the hookers green, the deep hue permanent, the hookers green, the, the white and the ivory black. Is that all of them, did I say? But to be fair, I haven't actually really used these much because I've got all these Amsterdams. So I've kind of just used these and I've got these as my backup if I run out of the colors there. So Liquitex is more expensive as I was saying, but the Amsterdam ones are really good. I love this Amsterdam set. And I think I got the Amsterdam set, it was either Jackson Art or Cass Art, but like I said, I will link it so you can see. Other than that, that is basically it. That's all you need for beginners, really. You also obviously need a cup to have your water in and kitchen towel to wipe your paints. Um, also gold foil. This is cheap. This was on eBay and this is so pretty. I haven't really put it in many of my pictures yet, but it is gorgeous. And as I'm just starting to do more abstracts, I'll definitely be using this more and you just stick it on. But again, you don't need this for beginners. That's just an extra. Um, I also got, this was actually really cheap, so I just bought this cheap, it's a black. With black, I don't really use it much, but it is needed. I don't use it much anyway at the moment because I'm more into my pastels, but it's good just to have a black, and I did actually run out of the other one, so I just bought this cheap, this was on offer. I think that's it, I think that's actually it. So let me just go over, obviously, again, what you need. So. Obviously, to start with, I will say, so to start with, I will say the paintbrush set. So you obviously need some good paintbrushes, but you don't need to spend too much. I would recommend getting a palette knife with your set because it's great if you want to try abstracts and it adds so much texture and it's amazing. The next thing is obviously your paint. So I recommend getting a big white because you will use the, the white that comes in here, you will use it straight away because if you want to make lighter colours, it's gone. So I really recommend to get a bigger white. You, When I first started, I got a really cheap white off of eBay. I think it was like three pounds. And it was it was smaller than this, but it was a big white. So you can get them cheap to begin with. Um, other colour paint brushes, um, other colour paints, whether you want to go for just getting primary colour tubs or whether you want to do this so you just have all the different colours and you can kind of find what colours you like. I will link those. The Amsterdam set. Um, surfaces, so obviously your canvases or your canvas sheet papers. I recommend to get both because like I said, you can practice stuff on here, like practice your drawing and practice doing different pictures like animals or abstract or whatever you want to do but then you can practice more of your blending colors and seeing how the paint works I don't really know what I'm, where I'm going with this but that's more for your canvas so I recommend getting both because it's just good to have more areas to practice on get different I recommend getting different um, sizes as well so you can do different types of pictures uh, different shapes it's always fun to do a big canvas so if you can find a cheap big canvas it's always good your palette board is it called a palette board i don't actually know what it's called but whatever one of these or if you have recycled stuff that you can use and a dust sheet so those are your main things i'll say for beginners so paint brushes paint surface canvas dust sheet and a paint mixer, palette, whatever it is. But yeah, I think that's everything. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I'm not a professional, I'm not an expert, 
but I love art and I'm getting more and more into it and I've spent a lot of money. Also, I didn't say about an easel, sorry. So when I did first start, I did just do it on the table. So if you are just getting into it as a hobby and you don't really want to spend too much, you can just paint on the table. However, when I got an easel, I did find it so much better because it's so much easier to see your picture. When you're looking at your picture like this, you have to sort of keep coming back and holding it up to sort of see what it really looks like. Whereas obviously with the easel, it is up the way it's meant to be up, if that makes sense, like how it will be on a wall, it's that way. So yeah, it is handy to get an easel, but you don't have to. My easel cost me 70 pounds, but it's because it's kind of like a furniture piece as well in the room, but you can get them really cheap for like 10 pounds. It's just the much cheaper wood. But if you're not bothered, then just get one of those off Amazon on eBay for like 10 pounds and you're good to go. Um, I'll just show you my easel. So you can't really fully see it, but I just can't bother to move the camera. But this is my easel. It's very sturdy. It's really good wood. It's beautiful. To begin with, I had the dust sheet on it because I wanted to protect it from the paint, but now I'm kind of just letting it happen because when I have this, sometimes the paint, it can get stuck to the canvas, so it's a bit annoying. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to let it get paint spurred because that's true art, isn't it? But I love it. You can move it up and down, obviously, so depending on where you're sitting and your height and yeah, it's a really good easel. I will link it below. Like I said, I think it cost me about £70. I got it from Jackson Art. They sell it in other places, but more expensive. Jackson Art was the best deal. And I do love it. And I think it looks beautiful in the room. It is a nice furniture piece. But I will also link the cheap ones that you can get from eBay and Amazon for like £10. Um, I'm just going to move it so I can sit back in my place. And yes, that is everything. So... I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope it's useful. If you have any questions about art or anything, please let me know because it is a massive passion of mine and I love talking about it. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I've repeated myself a million times, so I'm going to go now. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do any more art videos, let me know. If you don't want me to do any more art videos, maybe let me know. Well, bye. So, yeah, thank you again, and I will hopefully see you on the next video. Bye!